Hello, this is Sherry Hart 3, the Word of God and the Prophetic. Okay, I just want to uh, say real briefly, um, the previous um, video that I made uh, when I said that um, that we're, we're going about to go on the roller coaster ride, well, and I, I just want to say, I don't want to say the whole video, but um, the, the things that we went through through the past couple of years, the pandemic, that's like riding up the roller coaster. You know, you get the warning signs, you know how it says, keep your hands in, things like that. But uh, it was going slow. So we saw a long process of 2020, 21, you know, and um, the killings and the uh, a whole bunch of stuff going. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, my other video, I was warning you about that when I said we're about to go on the, uh, the roller coaster ride, that means God's going to shake the house. He's going to shake the house. Um, so you're going to begin to see it now. Before it was a warning, God has warned a lot of people. And then one thing, you know, and, and this, you know, the fear of the Lord is wisdom. Uh, God wants us to know that he is who he is. He is the God, the only God, and, you know, and, um, he loves everybody and he wishes no one to perish. This is why he gives people warnings to warn other people, people who set out and then all they think about is their money, their riches, and they're comfortable. But see, God, all that can be taken away from you. Uh, you're still here because of God's mercy and other people praying and family members and, God, and, and mainly God's mercy because he didn't have to let it go that long. So if you say in your heart, why is God forcing us to know who he is and um, you know, why all these bad things are going to happen to us because we don't serve him. Well, you serve the other enemy, but, uh, it's not that he doesn't force. He does the warnings because he don't want anything to happen to us. He don't want us to perish and go, you know, to that, to that place of punishment. So he speaks through to us, but now just like, um, uh, it's a scripture in the Bible where it says, um, if it's sitting there and it's not doing anything, cut it down. You know, God can't use you. Uh, you're in the way. God's work has to be done. He wants to come back and get his people. His people have to be ready. So God is shaking the house. It's starting now. It's starting now. You're going to see a lot of things, chaos. And I'm going to say to the saints, don't be discouraged. You know, this is when we should have been really reaching out to God and praying, praying for others. That's all we can do because what you're about to see, people are going to be running to God. Um, it's going to, I had mentioned weather in the last video. It's like just, uh, it's going to be a lot of things happening at one time. Let's just say that, um, uh, tornadoes break out. Let's just say, um, 40 states at one time. I, I'm just, I'm just saying things is going to be where it's going to be different from the past. I mean, all the other things are warning. You may see, um, uh, well, I don't want to say all the, you know, but it's going to shake the house and to get people's attention so they can run to the master. If you don't run to the master, then your destination is, you know, but, uh, don't just, uh, I just want to encourage the saints. Don't fear. Don't say, God, where are you? He's always been there. He's always been giving us chances through his mercy. So he doesn't force us to come to him, but he's He's going to show you who he is because he tried, He proved that, you know, he, even through a lot of things. And he always mentioned the uh, what he did in Egypt, but he's the same God. So he never changed. So that still applies. And so um, I'm just saying, um, saints, if you're on the shadow, this way and get there, all right?